Okay, let's go. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good and I hope you're doing great. Today, we're making dog monk strap for men's. And the first thing you need to do is getting out your pattern, sketching it out and transferring it to a 3D paper or to carbon, whatever you have. And after that, the next thing is to use it to um, sketch out. So guys, as we're sketching, let me mention some tools that is needed when making this shoe. So you need um, your last, of course, your scissors and um, your material, 2.5 or thicker or lesser leather, depends on what you like or what you're making to be exact. The next is you will need your patterns. You will need your pencil or silver pen. You will need your cutting tools, your cutter. You need your sole. You need your um, fiber. You need your name. Then you will need so many things, which I'm going to put in the description box below. So, guys, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because of more of this is going to be dropping soon. This is going to be epic so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so guys after the cutting after the cutting the next is to stitch the stitching part you're going to apply gum on both sides then put it together then be ready to stitch it out so guys I applied all you to be able to stitch correctly you see so like smoothly so guys after stitching after sewing just make sure that you sew straight because of you don't want your work to be looking rough and so then after that is to apply sorry to put in your um, binding material which I'm also going to be using the same material for the binding because I want this to be very like very thick and classy so the next is to apply gum applying gum from the downside not all your material you're just going to apply the half part of the shoe because of your um, what's it called your front sleeve is going to be there so you don't want to mess up everything because if you're going to like put put the gum once of course it's going to be hard to open and when opening it, it you might end up destroying what you saw do you understand so next i'm going to be adding this to make that um part stronger because you don't want it to be like um so so light you see so that's it so after putting um it in there the next is going to be covering using your binding to cover it up and making sure that it stays right in the middle because you don't want it to like go one side then covering it up with your binding it's still going to make sure that it's going to be like very very straight straighten it up and also use your hand to like smoothen it up because that's how you want it to be make sure that every place is like closed and stitched properly So checking it on the last just in case and after that we're going to be like um cutting off the excess because of that's not gonna be of use anymore we're going to say bye bye to it so the next is you're going to use your remaining pattern which you've transferred like your leather to apply gum on the back side of it you see applying gum on the back side of it to create a very specific or to create a very fast fantastic shape because we're going to be putting in our back sleeve and there too so after applying the gum is to put it together putting it together very smooth yeah make sure that it's the the gum and um, everything goes in together because as you can see you see that when cutting out your pattern you gave a line line to identify where you're going to sew so that's it after the sewing guys 
make sure that you sew like two times because you don't want it to loosen up you see you don't want it to loosen up so we're going to like sew it two times and make sure that it's very tight and make sure that it's not going to you know pull off and you get the customer calling you to say what you made for me isn't strong or you know so after that the next also is to trim out the excess trim out the excess because if we're going to put um we're going to put something at the back before binding so i hope you're enjoying this video that by the way please stick with me to the end because i know that this is exactly what you're looking for and don't forget to subscribe too so checking it on the last to make sure that everything is smooth and the work is going perfectly the next is to use this to cut out your um back cover see to cut out so guys after that the next also is to apply gum on both sides and cover it up applying gum you have to make sure that um after applying the gum if you want to like stick it together to the back of your shoe you have to make sure that you're going to put it like smoothly in you're not going to like force it and it's going to be rumpled or it's going to have some bumps in it no just have to be very very careful you see and that is what i'm doing right now applying my gum and also i'm going to apply gum on the other side too So guys, you're probably wondering, this video is almost done. Why am I not um, getting? Why isn't the speed up? No, I don't want it to be like that. I want it. I want. I want. I want to take my my very very um patient and everything I've got to make sure that you guys understand this video and not skipping some parts because I want to make content. No, I'm making this video to teach and also to make sure that everybody perfect skills in shoe making so after that like i said before is teaching it at the back and making sure that it goes smoothly in so that's it this is how the outcome looks and the next is also you're going to be stitching stitching the back before adding your binding and also when adding your binding you're not going to you know just mess up your leather you have to like sketch out the part of which you're going to apply your gum you see and after that we're going to like stitch together that's it meet me when you're done applying your gum guys Welcome back, welcome back. So the next is applying the gum on both sides. You see? Applying your gum on both sides so that you don't make mistake is the first the most important thing here. So that's it. Oh guys, sorry to say after applying you don't have to apply your gum before sewing that back there. I'm sorry no one is above mistake I would say I made mistake and I wouldn't like you guys to repeat the same thing I did here first you have to sew the back before putting it in there I I I recommend so even still after that <laughs> for sure I put off the off to make sure that I saw what I'm supposed to sew and that's it please bear with me i know that you may think that i should be perfect by now but no i'm still learning and that's why i decided to share my skills to share my mistakes i could like cut it out but no i decided to share it to show you that even when you make mistake just correct just correct it because of no one's above mistake don't feel like i'm lacking no you're not okay so there you see i just remember that i didn't stitch as i was saying before and i have to like loosen up everything i've gummed together and uh, going to the machine to stitch and here i'm done stitching and 
putting it together i'm so happy that i recognized my mistake very soon and fixed it so that's it after that is applying your oil and um your machine oil of course and then sewing you see i didn't start from the um bottom or anywhere i just started from this upside to sew you see so just sew it make sure it's straight make sure that it's, it's you come out very good and i know you guys some of you are like so very happy with your work right now you're like oh it's cool i'm seeing what i'm making it's coming out very perfect don't forget to subscribe to tv shoes because of you'll be learning more epic skills on how to make Oxford, and how to make chelsea boots and how to make dr martin's boots and others and how to make heels because of i'll be coming up with more and more tutorials that for sure you will like and you will not want to miss it so that's it after the sewing um you see i didn't sew all i started from here to sew so after the sewing guys the next is to trim out your excess too because you're not going to apply that you're not going to apply gum on that seriously you have to trim out your excess so trimming out your excess of course is going to be like a very very smooth and um easy like no it's going to be easy but please you have to make sure that you take it easy too <laughs> you see because you don't want to mess up mess it up and like cut the black leather in a way no that's no 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 that's not going to be good So the next is applying gum and applying gum on the other side too <laughs> wow this shoe is almost done guys i'm so happy okay so applying the gum is now you're going to put it you know put it together but remember guys hope you're following the steps from your you know the pencil there the everything there because you don't want to mess up your work see so guys i'm going to go ahead to stitch to stitch the part that i just um put together right now so this is me stitching Okay, guys, my fellow shoe enthusiast, after the sewing, of course, you're going to be happy. You're going to be very happy, I'm telling you this. So, I already added my buckle and I'm like checking the outcome of the shoe, checking how everything is going basically, and making sure that I didn't miss a step. You see? So, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and for sure i'll be uploading part two of this video soon and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell and wait for this epic design finishing and see how it turns out tb loves you and also bye for now <laughs> okay bye bye and see you next time